Welcome to the NetSuite video series provided by RAND Group. My name is Jamie Setterbo, and in today's video, we'll be going over how to create a new vendor record. This is a vendor entry form. Your screen might look different based on your settings or customizations. For example, your field names might be different. All of the fields you see with an asterisk are mandatory fields, and if you click on any of the names, you'll get a field help pop-up box with a description of that field. First, we're going to choose a custom form from the drop-down menu. You might have different forms for different types of vendors. Now we're going to enter a company name. And when we tab away from that field, you'll see that your vendor ID automatically updated to this name. This is going to automatically update to either a name or a number, depending on your settings. And if you untick the auto checkbox, you can override this and choose your own vendor ID. Now we're going to enter a email address and a phone number. And now we're going to choose a primary subsidiary for this vendor. Note that after you save the record, you cannot change the primary subsidiary on a vendor record. Down here in the financial sub tab, we can choose the default payment terms for this vendor, and we can choose set our credit limit. Your credit limit here should be the sum of the credit limits for all subsidiaries that do business with this vendor. Then we're going to go here to the subsidiary sub tab. Now we can select all the subsidiaries that are relevant to this vendor. Here is also where we can break down the credit limit by subsidiary and apply the applicable tax code. In the address sub-tab, we will go to the edit column here and click on the pencil icon. And this is where we can add an address for this vendor. If we go to the zip code, once we tab away, the city and the state will autofill. Click OK. We are going to leave this as the default shipping address, which is the main address that will send return products back to this vendor. And we'll also leave this as the default billing, which is where the payment should be sent to for this vendor. We're going to click Add, and you'll see that the address updated here on the vendor record. In these other tabs, we can add contact people within the vendor organization, phone calls, files, we can associate this vendor with subscriptions, assign preferences, and even grant access. Once you have filled in all the information for your vendor, click the Save button, and you have just finished creating a vendor record. Thank you for viewing this video provided by RAND Group. If you have any questions or would like more information on NetSuite, feel free to contact us. Thank <laughs> you.